It's great to see y'all. I have a story for y'all today. It has been <laughs> quite the freaking day. Listen, I'm gonna tell you a story. I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna paint a journey of my day. But I would like the first thing to be said that this is not my fault, okay? I don't think, I don't think it's my fault. No, it's not my fault, okay. Picture, I work from home. So I have a friend coming over. I work from home, she works from home too. And so sometimes like, usually like once a week we'll have a co-work day where usually in the past I've gone to her apartment to co-work. However, this week we just recently got patio furniture. And funny enough, the patio furniture arrived like a week before it was supposed to arrive. Um, and so I got to build it a week before we were even expecting it. It's out there. And then we were like, hey, we have patio furniture now. We'll go to Nisi Bose's place instead. So, so I'm, I'm working away. I have a meeting starting at 7.30 a.m. this morning. So I'm up and working. She's not supposed to get to my place until nine. She's running a little bit late, whatever. She calls me and she's like, hey, my meetings are over. She goes, hey, um, do you have any meetings right now? And I was like, no. And she goes, okay, do you have any meetings like soon? And I'm like, oh, my next one's not for two hours. No, why, what's up? And she goes, okay, so don't panic, but your car got broken into and you're gonna wanna come look at this. And I was like, I think my, I think my initial response, she quoted this back to me later was, ow, fuck. So I grab my keys and I like sprint on over. So my apartment complex, we only get one spot per unit and Ziva gets the spot. He drives his car more, his car more often. It makes more sense. His car's nicer, whatever. So I park on the street, but I, the, the parking directly in front of our complex wasn't available. So I had to park around the corner and I hadn't checked on my car in about six days because I had driven it last Friday and then hadn't had any need for, for it since then. So I go up and my front left window shattered. There is glass everywhere. And so my initial thought is just, fuck. Like I've never had a window broken into before. I've honestly never had my car broken into before. I think part of that is shitty car privilege because who's gonna break into my car? There's nothing valuable in there. What would you possibly want from my shit mobile? So I get down there and we're investigating. We're like, okay, what? Ha what's the story here? It was the weirdest crime. First of all, I had nothing of value in my car. I don't keep valuable things in my car at all. So I have no idea what initially interested them to get in, but we're thinking they might have actually just been interested to get in for the car parts. As we're looking around, first, the gear shift is missing. They have they've stolen the, ge the gear shift. It's, it's not there. And the car is in drive but the e-brake is on. We investigate more. We're looking around. They've of course gone through my console and like they stole, I had some like jewelry, like hidden away. They stole a perfume bottle, a Britney Spears perfume bottle from 2008 perhaps that I have kept in my car ever since then because I hate the smell, but it was there just in, in case of like, I'm very stinky. I need something to cover it emergency. So they stole that. And they stole like some miscellaneous jewelry I had inside my console and like nothing of real value. I don't carry things of real value in my in my car. I don't have things of I don't own things of value. So so anyway, then we're we're going around to investigate, and the front grill of my Honda is also missing. The the front that's just like the grill across the front that says Honda is gone. It's it's just gone. And also, by the way, I went through later and I was Googling how much these are worth. The gear shift you can get on eBay for 50 and the front thing you can get on eBay for like 60. Like they're not expensive parts. They're like a hundred bucks max. But then of course, replacing the window is going to cost me anywhere from like 200 to 500, depending. So, okay. We're like, I'm like, okay, shit, like whatever. I'm thinking, I wonder if they were trying to get into the engine because the grill was not torn out. The screws were removed. So whoever this person is removed the screws of the grill, took it out. But the way my car is, if you remove the grill, you can't pop the engine. You have to go inside and unlatch it from there. And so then we were thinking, well, well, maybe, maybe possibly they were trying to get into the engine, couldn't, and then said, okay, never mind. They broke the window so that they could open the engine compartment and then put it up there. Right? Because I don't know if they took my catalytic converter. I didn't feel like getting on the ground to investigate. The mechanics will figure that out. But like potentially maybe there was something under the hood of value to them. So there, so then I'm like, okay, fuck. So I call the police and I'm like, I need to get a report in. 
I spend the next 45 minutes on hold with the police. I call my local department and I get um, immediately voicemail, not even voicemail. I get a message saying, we're closed and call back during normal business hours. And if this is normal business hours and we're not answering, it's because we're at lunch or we're busy. Call back later. So I try calling periodically, no one picks up. So I eventually get another number for like the greater San Diego area to report it. I'm on, I'm on hold for 45 minutes. At this point, I'm calling AAA, I'm calling my mom because we share a AAA account, so they're notifying her and I'm like, no, it's not about you, it's about me, like it's fine. Calling my dad, I'm like, you're a mechanic, what do I do? So I'm figuring it out. I finally get an answer, I finally get someone on the line after 45 minutes of lading. Fantastic customer service. And they're like, oh, unless it's $10,000 of damages, we won't send out an officer. Fill out a thing online and hang up on me. And I was like, okay, thank you. Very cool. I know, such a smart thing, not answering the phone to a local PD. I know, really cool. So I'm like, okay, so I go online and I fill out the little form and I send it off. And basically the, the way that it described it to me was they're like, you fill out the form. If you filled it out correctly, we'll respond back saying you filled it out correctly. If you filled it out incorrectly, we'll respond back saying you did a bad job and you can try again. I was like, okay, thanks, helpful, whatever. So I'm, I'm, I'm waiting, I, we go back to the apartment. I'm like, all right, I call AAA. I'm like, what the hell do I do? And they're like, listen, we're gonna tow your car to a local mechanic shop. They'll figure it out, we'll play it from there. I said, okay, perfect when can you bring the tow truck? And they're like, we can bring the tow truck later today between two to four. Perfect. So I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. And then I get a call from my mom. And I'm like, what's up, mom? I answer the phone. Hey, mom, how's it going? She's busy. She's at work. And she goes, oh, um, I got a call 20 minutes ago from the tow truck saying they'll be there in 20 minutes. I look at my watch. It's 1.30. I'm like, okay, unprepared for this. Literally, as she says this, I look up and I see a tow truck go down the street and turn around the corner. And I'm like, Oh God, the tow truck. So there's me then sprinting out of the apartment in flip flops being like, I gotta get to the tow truck because they called the wrong number and I wasn't able to confirm that I was available and I gotta make sure that they can find my car. So I go around and as I get there, the tow truck guy is investigating my car, you know, checking out. He can tell which one needs to be towed because it's the one with the broken window. In the two hour window between when I initially, I investigated the car, I took a whole bunch of pictures, I noticed it, whatever. And when the tow truck drive got, driver got there, I got a warning on my windshield from the San Diego police saying, hey, you need to move your car every 72 hours. It's not legal to park it here for longer than 72 hours. This is an official warning. If your car doesn't get moved, you're gonna get a ticket. And I was like, listen, <laughs> I am busy. <laughs> I am busy right now. And like, has my car been sitting here for six days? Yes. Also, my window is actively smashed. Like, give a girl a break, right? Read the room. The odd that I was like, and you know, I was like, I was trying to call you guys to come out here to make a police report and you're gonna leave a little notice on my on my thing. So anyway, I get my freaking warning and then the tow truck guy is like, yeah. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know, man. So they tow off my car. So now I have to wait. But the, the, the thing is too, honestly, truly, they better have stolen my catalytic converter because I swear to God, if they broke into my car and broke my window just to steal my gear shift, steal my grill and steal like a sweater, a Britney Spears perfume and some other miscellaneous shit, I am going to lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. It's not like if it was stuff in the car that like I got completely wiped out, okay. I understand. I don't understand stealing the gear shift and the grill. I just, and also in the process I learned apparently my car alarm doesn't work because I certainly was not alerted to the fact that someone was actively robbing me. Also, I learned you can only park for 72 hours in this area. Sure, valuable knowledge. So yeah, now, so now I have to wait. They're gonna look at my car and figure out what what's what and like give me an estimate and everything. But my car, also, my car is a piece of shit anyway. So to have to put any money into repairs is incredibly frustrating because it's a piece of shit, man. It's not worth the repair. I wouldn't, I am, I would not be shocked if they just told me the car was totaled. And I don't, I don't actually really fully know how they determine when a car is totaled, but I assume a car is totaled if the cost of the parts is worth more than the cost of the car or like the value of the car. And I'm, we went online curiously and put my car 
into um, as Kelly Blue Book, one of those, to estimate how much is my car worth. Kelly Blue Book told me my car is worth twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five. Two two five dollars. Not even enough for a Chipotle dinner with guacamole. I could get at best a single Chipotle burrito and maybe a Sprite. I couldn't even get guac for the cost of my car. But I'm just so mad. I like, I'm laughing. I never like got truly upset today. It was just kind of one of those like, like really sort of moments. But I just, thinking about it though, here's, here's the rationalization that I was trying to do today. I don't think there's like a grand plan, but I do think that you can pull something positive out of anything. Any situation I think you can look at with remembrance or you can take something positive from it, just in some way. I think, hear me out. I had not checked on my car in six days. I got a warning on it today. I would not have checked on my car for another week, maybe? I don't drive my car. I don't. I don't take it places. So imagine if I hadn't moved my car for the next seven days. Parking tickets rack up. If you park somewhere you're not supposed to and you get a ticket, they're not gonna be like, they already have a ticket, we won't give them another one. They don't care, they hate you. They will continue to give you tickets. Imagine if I got a warning today and they came back tomorrow and my car was still there, I would have gotten a ticket. And then another one, and then another one, and then another one, until I finally checked my car again. So I would have come back potentially to like seven tickets, plus maybe even a busted window if the crime had happened, you know? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, I like to believe, like, you can take something positive. Will I have to deal with car repairs? Yes. But I think parking tickets are at least a hundred bucks, right? That's 700 bucks right there. I'm gonna pay less for the, the repairs to my car. So anyway, I am choosing to just laugh at the situation. It's a shitty thing, but I'm just trying to laugh about it. And, <sighs> but it was just so weird.